Hey, welcome back. I just wanted to make this video um, for anybody else that is having a major problem with their computer. Um, I think it is an Asus um, issue with the motherboard. Uh, that's what I've gathered from all my research and information. I'm thinking it's a motherboard issue, but I'll update in the description once I get a new motherboard in. But so if we go to my task manager right here and we see this process right here system so right now it's at 0% to 1 point or 0.1% CPU usage uh, power usage is very low but let me do this and see what it does so notice CPU usage climbing and power usage high Sometimes it'll go to very high and then bounce right back to high. But this doesn't seem like a big issue, right? It's only 6% of my CPU usage. But it is, for gaming anyways. Um, it really, really destroys frame rate and smoothness of a video game. All right, so this is how to temporarily solve the problem. So right here, as you can see, system is using 6% uh, CPU and very high power usage. Doesn't seem like it would impact uh, my system a lot, but it, it completely destroys any game performance. So, so the program you're gonna need is Process Hacker 2. I'll provide a link in the description for this. Um, what you're gonna do is right click and run as administrator and it'll open up right here just like that pretty overwhelming but this is just all the tasks that are happening right now and so system you're gonna find system uh, this is what's causing you all your trouble and this will also diagnose your problem and what in your system is actually causing it so what you're gonna do is double click on system and then it's gonna open up this window right here um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sort by CPU um, usage um, so right here so acpi.sys is using most of the system CPU and then what you're gonna do is right click and suspend I wish you could terminate but this is what happens when you terminate and you are unable to do it because it is an actual Windows driver you can't really get rid of it um, so you're gonna suspend it and then as you can see in the task manager right here CPU usage drops significantly. Um, so right here, 0.1%. Um, that will solve all of the problems, but this is only a temporary solution. Um, and then after this, I'll get into some games and show you exactly um, what happens to it. Minecraft and GTA is a great example of this. So I'm gonna show you an example of when I have it off and then when I have it on. Okay, so um, in the top left corner, you can see my frame rate around 80 to 90, sometimes jumps up to 100 FPS. And this is without um, the little trick or the, the system process on. So this runs perfectly normal, ultra high settings. Uh, no like stutter no lag no no choppiness in the frames so let's go turn that turn it on okay so this is uh with system on i'm getting 30 fps 40 fps and it is choppy choppy and stuttering everywhere not fun not playable so at the beginning of the video uh, i'm gonna insert um I'm going to insert how to do it, uh, because why Why have someone wait to the end of the video to figure out how to solve their issue or prevent their issue. So, um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we I can figure this out, how to permanent solution, uh, because this, this is just a temporary solution. Every time I turn my PC on, I have to do this. Uh, but yeah, have a good one.